Stop using the run button and start using the command line. Now, this is an advice that I would mostly give to beginner programmers. However, there is also a specific set of programmers that are perhaps stuck only using Visual Studio as their primary editor. And there is a big problem with it. It's not like using the command line is cool or whatever. There is a big benefit or for that fact, many benefits with being able to use the command line and being command line first. So I'm neither disregarding the Visual Studio ID or any other IDs or the features or extensions that they bring in. I'm saying that relying solely on those doesn't give you as much benefit as being able to use the command line. The biggest limitation of relying on your ID is it locks you into that pattern of thinking. So if your primary ID is Visual Studio, you are unable to do anything other than what Visual Studio provides you with. Where using the command line it actually expands your mind. So if you take Visual Studio, the tools that it covers, you know, if you try to migrate to something else, for example, you can migrate to something like Rider, NetBeans, there is a very limited sector where you will be able to reuse the knowledge that you've used from Visual Studio. If you compare the amount of IDs there are versus the amount of command line tools that exists, the amount of command line tools easily surpasses the amount of IDs. Command lines are built by developers. They will reuse common patterns. So it's not like you're learning a new thing every single time. You're recognizing similar patterns and you start thinking in terms of command line tools. And then once you're capable of thinking in terms of command line tools, you can go back to your IDE, fully understanding that when you press the run button, when you're using the Git integration, it is actually using commands under the hood. The command line is the baseline that you want to understand. Same as, you know, if you've used tasks and asynchronous programming in C Sharp, you want to know how it works. This is a similar story. Many tools that you're using use the command line and are built to be command line first. It's the base layer, it's the detail. By knowing many little details, you're able to compose them to solve problems. And this is what I mean by thinking in terms of solving problems by using command lines. They're their own little programs, their own little functions, and they're actually sometimes easier to use than an actual IDE. And because they are those little functions, they open up doors to things like scripting. But before we go into all of the benefits that the command line brings once you, you know, open up to it and actually, well, it's more of a like force yourself into it because it's not a pleasant experience to start with. But once you get into the groove of using the command line, it's actually a pretty good experience. If you watch any of my videos, I don't actually use the run button. I always start my applications from the command line because I found it so much easier. It may seem like these things don't happen, but IDs will have breaking changes, extensions will have breaking changes. And if your, you know, the go-to tool breaks, you're a little bit, you know, you're out of your comfort zone. The command line tool, I found it, it is a lot less likely to break than your ID. And speaking of comfort zones, it is more about leaving one comfort zone into a separate comfort zone. Command line tools can be a comfort zone and a lot more reliable. There are so many times that I had to help people on my Discord server, people DM me or ask questions, and there is a specific set of questions which could have been solved or they wouldn't even be asked if the person was basically thinking command line first. If you're thinking about command line, you know, you can build an application, you can build assets, you can build a container, you can watch, you can run. These are all common functionalities reused between command lines. It helps you transition between languages. It has, helps you transition between tools. If Docker desktop breaks, if your Docker extension breaks, if your uh, task watcher for your SAS files break, you know, you're not in the deep waters. What do you do? You just open the command line at the path and you do do .NET watch or you do your SAS watch or whatever, and it just works. All the Angular stuff, uh, Python uh, command lines, Webpack watch, you know, all of them are very, very similar. And one of the biggest benefits, and this is why some of the developers, they get a MacBook because it has that Linux terminal, because once you're publishing to production, guess what? It is usually a Linux server, no GUID, and you're SSHing to the machine and you're just there in the Linux command line. If you're by default using the command line, you already know how to switch from one technology to another. You're going to publish something. Guess what you're going to do in production? You're probably going to do an equivalent of .NET run on your compiled code. You do not go to the remote server and install your favorite development environment. And once you know the command line, again, if you use them as little, little functions, 
you can do scripting, which is one of the most powerful things. This is where CI CD opens up for you, a machine setup opens up for you, automation of uh, tasks opens up for you. All these command line tools that are built to do various different things, you can script them to do whatever without actually having to build your own program. So take the pilgrimage, start thinking in terms of command line. Stop using the run button in your IDE, stop using all the other buttons in your IDE, use it as a text editor and manipulate your files, your applications through the command line. Once you think you got the idea, by all means, do whatever you want, go back to your IDE, keep using the command line, that's what I do. But I'll promise you this, if you are gonna lean on the command line, you will be a much better developer. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little talk. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, where to get started, etc., leave them in the comment section. Come ask them on my Discord server. Thank you very much to all of my supporters on Patreon. If you're not supporting me yet, please consider it does help out a lot. Hope everybody is staying healthy and have a good day.